Well, Steve was pretty mannered. You know, uh, if you look at the body of his work, you'll see a lot of things very similar. You know, but uh, but he, he really forced his personality in there a lot. You know. He did a lot of takes to the camera and did a lot of action as opposed to a long stenches of dialogue. Yeah, well, Steve, I, I felt, was an action uh, actor. He, he, he liked action more. He liked his motorcycles and his cars and, you know, and, and he liked the macho stuff. Make sure I'm in view here. Nice. So, uh, so this seems very big, and it is very big because we only have uh, the extra large sizes left in stock at the moment. But we do have more coming at the end of the month. And this was our, this was the first um, Thomas Crown affair in product that we made. Um, obviously, there are other products that I'm sure you know, such as the Barracuda G9 Harrington jacket, which he does wear. Uh, Playboy chucker boots he wears, and then a uh, natural Aaron fisherman sweater that he also wears when he's smoking his cigar on the beach. So those are all products that, that you can get, but this is the first one that we we, we put together ourselves, inspired from the uh, the golf scene. Uh, we like golf scenes at Mason and Sons. <laughs> um, so this is a mock turtle neck cotton jumper it's very light very comfortable to wear extremely breathable it's not a it's not a skinny fit it's reasonably slim but it's not too short and it's got a ribbed hem so it's one of those jumpers that you can wear it and it can be slightly loose slightly comfortable because you're not going to get drowned in because of the, the ribbing in the on that hem and on the cuffs and one of the uh one of the features that was quite um, a challenge, as is always the case with uh, recreating products from film, is getting the color right. Now, it's unlike the uh, peach orange shirt, which I'll show you shortly, The this was a fairly easy one to get right because the lighter blues, and he's wearing them with gray trousers, he's on a golf course, so we didn't have to, the, <laughs> we can tell the natural color of the grass, it wasn't neon green and or, or extremely dark, so we, we were fairly confident with the color on this. So this, in terms of products that we re recreated just from movie stills and watching the films, uh, this was a, quite an easy one to get right. And then one, the only other challenge we had was the uh, the stripes around on the mock. So it's quite a it's quite a shallow mock neck uh, shirt. And then it would the spacing of the stripes on the mock neck is what we uh, we spent quite a lot of time. Uh, going over and get into arguments about how many millimeters uh, ah. wide they should be. So, yeah, this was the fi finished article, and we used this garment as the basis for another uh, piece of clothing um, that he wears. Where he's wearing the Barracuda G9 jacket, and underneath he's got a blue top on with, again with a small mock neck but if you are like us going on a bit of an investigation uh on google <laughs> you'll see movie stills where it, what it's actually wearing is a knitted t-shirt that's got quite a lot of ribbing on it but we what we really liked was the um the blue dark blue jumper with the it has this jumper has got white stripes, uh, just white stripes against the dark blue, and it just looks brilliant underneath the Barracuda G9 uh, jacket. So we have done this in a dark blue v version, but we've matched the stripes to the T-shirt. Ah, I see. Nice. Um, yeah, a mock T-shirt that's red. It's um, that is what he's wearing, but it's not really us, and and we we all love this so much and we're just quite keen to do a dark blue version of it anyway so we decided to uh to change it to the stripes on the on the on the t-shirt so that we can wear them with our g9 harrington jackets as well love it are you going to be oh so so the mid blue is coming out as well as the dark blue so we'll yep. do uh we'll do another running one. this one and we'll also do the uh dark blue as well Oh, look at that. That is terrific. Newest product on our website. 
Um, I'm trying to make sure we can get a good shot of it, but we've got loads of images of them on, the, on Instagram and on, on our website as well. So this was uh, a bit of fun really for the summer. And this is uh, the shirt that he wears when he's on the beach with Faye Dunaway, where he wears them over a uh, pair of blue, dark navy swim shorts. And with, we, we sort of went away from our usual um, shirt pattern for this one, because this is the first, we're, we're calling this a beach shirt, and I'm sure we'll be doing them in other colors because we're, they're really lovely. And we called it a beach shirt because it's a little bit oversized. Uh, if I'm a, usually between a small and a medium, and, and for this shirt, I take a small, and the medium drops over the shoulders. Um, and I, I actually quite like that about this shirt. I really see this as casual, should be oversized. We've gone a little bit longer in the body in the sleeve, just because we want it loose, sleeves rolled up, untucked, just like uh, the shirt in the film. We've got quite a deep slit in the back, single button cuff, and then these chest pockets and McQueen probably kept his Marlboro Reds in those. <laughs> um, I didn't measure to see if you could fit a packet of cigarettes. <laughs> uh, and then a uh, box pleat on the back, no darts. Uh, the collar and cuffs are extremely soft, very casual. And it's just, it's just a really lovely throw on garment. It's 55% uh, linen, 45% cotton. So it's, softer than pure linen shirt. It's very easy to press. I know that because I pressed this one before I uh, came to speak to you. <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, it's just really simple, basic, comfort, casual, throw it on. It's got to be uh, loose. I think a lot of the shirts that we make for customers and they, they want that really slim fit. But for this, like our camp collar shirts, I sort of sway customers customers away from the slim fit that we're up and you, here's one uh, one of yours absolutely. Um, <laughs> so yeah we got yeah, casual a loose fit for a garment like this so you can literally just throw it on when you're on the beach i don't i don't think anybody really wants a slim skinny fit shirt when they're uh when they're half dry on the beach or getting uh, a little bit of rash on the sand. <laughs> that looks amazing so did you have any trouble did you have any trouble getting the color just right? Because you see so many images of that shirt and the image online would have been kind of, I don't know, raised or amplified to a darker orange. So was that ever in your in the back of your mind to try and either go for the enhanced look of the orange or the original? How, how was that process? Yeah, so um, you're quite right. Every image you see of that shirt online and when you're watching the film, it looks a completely different shade. So what we do, and we did the same thing when we were uh, creating the barley corn tweed jacket and cavalry twill trousers, we get every single image and get them, print some of them out. Some of them we keep on screen because as soon as you print them out onto paper, the color changes again. So usually we have them all on, on the screen. And then we do a bit of sort of, we get rid of the ones where it's too extreme at one end of the spectrum or the other. So the very famous picture is he is, I think he is stood on the uh, beach buggy. Um, and that image is where it's the sort of deepest orange, very, very vibrant, very dark orange. Um, and when you, if you look at the beach buggy in that, image it's red it's like a ferrari color of red but then we sort of we chose the color of the peach orange based on what we thought the color of the beach buggy actually was so the beach buggy actually helped us choose the color of the fabric more than anything else did because um in the images where we saw that the beach buggy looked too red it would mean that the orange of the shirt was also too deep or too dark. So we went for this paler peachy color. Um, and it's been my sort of experience when, when looking at these fabrics and comparing them to movie stills or um, images that uh, press have taken, the colors tend to seem darker than they 
actually were. Um, a great example of this was uh, uh, in North by Northwest with Cary Grant. I very recently recreated that suit uh, for a customer. And the fabric of the original suit was made by Holland and Sherry. So we called up Holland and Sherry and asked them to send us a swatch um, of the original material because they have them a record of it. So they know exactly which one it was. And when I received it in the post, I called them to say, I, I think you've sent me the wrong thing because I could not believe the pattern was obviously there. It was just the color. I couldn't believe it. And they said, we know, we get this. Wow. <laughs> asked for this, we know. It. So it just, it just sort of goes to show that, um, if you want something, if you want, uh, if you want to look like Cary Grant did in the film, in terms of the color of the suit, then you can't choose the actual fabric. <laughs> that is fascinating because of color correction and all that, right? Yeah, and it, and obviously it's all getting blasted by light and then processed. And now, if we're watching it on a Blu-ray, uh, so it's, uh, it's so incredible. It's quite difficult to, um, and I, I think it's safe to say that it's probably impossible to get an exact match unless you have the uh an original piece of clothing there to get it for sure and but the other thing is um we chose also a safer orange in the terms of that it's not a color that any of us are used to wearing <laughs> to be honest and so we want we also wanted to make the garment that we were going to wear and and in some of the images of him, it's that peachier orange where it just looks, uh, it's softer and easier to pair with other items and something that we want to enjoy. We don't, we don't want to, to make things that we can't wear ourselves. So, so that was also a very important factor in it. Interesting. Yeah, because there's, there's the element of it would be interesting to see it in a deeper, darker shade of orange because that looks like what most of the photos look like. But then there's also... Not everyone can wear clothes like Steve McQueen. So if you get a very deep orange and you're going to rock up on the beach and you and you have to carry this photo of Steve McQueen everywhere you're going with you, you know, it's like, look, it looks good on him and me, see? Um, you know, it's. I think the subtler version of the orange will perhaps work better. Well, it, it certainly looks like it will work better. And, you know, you're like say. So yeah, and I think the, the subtler version of it from all the stills that I've seen, it's more likely that it was on, on the subtle side just because the uh, just because of the colour of other things in the in the same picture. So so it's a bit of a bit of detective work that you have to do, but it's always good fun. Yeah, I love the fact that you had to almost calibrate the colour according to the to the Doom buggy. So that I don't suppose you've because uh, that Doom buggy sold like I think last year didn't it for like x amount of money um i believe you can still buy them they still make them right but the original i think was sold at auction did i don't suppose you've ever reached out to the to the uh, the owner of that and go well look i so happen to have the shirt so if you lend me the buggy for the weekend you know we'll do a swap <laughs> was... i'm not sure who owns it but we should uh, we should probably send him a shirt so that he can he can at least take a selfie <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, and one of those uh, uh, small ring gauge cigars that Steve McQueen was smoking in there. In yeah, right. And um, and the, the St. Christopher's gold chain as well, just to complete the look. <laughs> Listen, well, congrats, mate. I think the, I think the shirt looks great. Uh, it's available to buy now. Thanks for giving us the show and tales. £145. Uh, I think I got that right. On masonandsons.com. That's where you can find the product. And... And enjoy that shirt. Enjoy the heck out of that and watch the Thomas Crown Affair at the same time because it's honestly one of the... I mean, the sound of that buggy just ripping across them dunes as well. And, like, F Faye, Faye Dunaway just shitting herself in the passenger seat as well. <laughs> and so what I really like about that film is that no one really has to act. You know, it's a bit like how I always say about Leonardo DiCaprio winning an Oscar for The Revenant. I mean, if you if you had to crawl through swamps and water, you're not going to really be doing too much acting. You're going to look like you're crawling through swamps and water, which is what he was doing for 99% of that film. If you're sitting next to Steve McQueen and he's doing donuts on the dunes at 90 miles an hour, you're not going to be acting them screams, are you? <laughs> anyway, um, Elliot, always great to talk to you. Um, take care and I uh, hope, hope to get you back on soon. And we've got some updates coming from Mason and Sons. So hopefully we'll get you back on next month. Wish you all the best. Take care. Cheers. Awesome. Bye.